Did you know that a lot of computer crime really doesn't involve technology or uses it only in a very minimal way? Even phishing or email fraud really only uses the technology to get the email to you. It still depends on you to respond to it and will still try to manipulate you to do so. A lot of what is called computer crime relies at its core on just a good old-fashioned con. There's a couple of well-known examples. Uh, Perhaps you've read the book Catch Me If You Can or seen the movie. It's the story of Frank Abagnale, who, while he was very young, used his intelligence, his charm, confidence, and poise to do things he shouldn't and defraud a lot of people. Now, the movie especially is not 100% accurate. And beyond that, Mr. Abagnale has gone on to have an entire career in defending systems against fraud and attack. So there's a lot of things that happened back then that wouldn't be able to happen today. But a lot of the basic concepts and the way that an individual can go about taking advantage of another individual remains exactly the same. And then on top of that, electronic commerce and the internet has opened up new avenues for new con men to take advantage of it. Even before the big rise of the internet, Hackers have sometimes relied more on their social skills than on their technical skills. That's certainly the case with Kevin Mitnick, another famous hacker. If you follow the early days and what he actually did, most of his crimes or most of his attacks were not based on some great technological revelation. They were based on his skill in manipulating people. What happens is that most people want to help others. So fraudsters and cyber criminals play on that. They do it by email. They do it in person. How do you make sure that you don't become involved? How do you resist social engineering attacks or fraud or phishing? They're really all different flavors of the same thing. Well, going back to U.S. CERT, the United States Computer Emergency Readiness Team, they have a big blue warning right here on their website when they talk about social engineering and phishing. And I think it's very succinct and very apropos. Do not give sensitive information to anyone unless you are sure that they are indeed who they claim to be and that they should have access to the information. Now, you can take that a lot farther. There's a lot of detail that's not expressed there. But as a premise, as something you can print and stick on the bulletin board in your staff room, that's absolutely true. Don't run unknown software that might open you up to some kind of snooping attack. Don't give your computer with sensitive data to unknown people. If you have to take hardware in for repair, either remove sensitive data or make sure it's encrypted and protected. Don't share your password. Don't use weak passwords that can be easily compromised. And remember that phishing, that trying to get personal information out of you by email, is really just the electronic email version of social engineering, which is just a modern version of an old con.